Should I choose Zach or should I choose Slater? As long as I don't choose Screech, I'm okay. Hello Starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. I make videos to inspire you to be the best version of yourself and live your dreams. So if you want to be an Everyday Starlet, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I thought I would fulfill a childhood fantasy of mine, and this is totally going to show my age right now. I decided to transform myself into Kelly Kapowski, aka Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Since probably a lot of you on YouTube are not old enough to remember Saved by the Bell, or you only remember it in reruns, you don't remember when it originally aired. Hello, I'm old. If you don't know Saved by the Bell, really, it's a classic. You should look into it. And I always dreamed of being Kelly Kapowski because, actually, I'll be honest with you, I actually dreamed of being Lisa Turtle because she was the wealthy one with the doctors for parents and had like a credit card and unlimited budget. I never really wanted to be Jessie because, well, I don't know, I didn't want to be the smart one. <laughs> but I definitely wanted to be popular like Kelly, so. There you go. And of course, Kelly Kapowski, I think, was like every guy from my generation's first crush, and she was the girl who all the girls wanted to be. She was popular, she was pretty, she was the head cheerleader, all the boys liked her, and I decided that since I've never been any of those things, <laughs> that I would take this opportunity to turn myself into Kelly Kapowski. I actually was doing some research trying to find ideas to do some, uh, full busted broad DIYs and I actually came across this picture of Tiffany Amber Thiessen and I this is when she was playing Kelly Kapowski I don't know if like she was in character in this picture or not but I kind of got fascinated with the photo and I was like I want to recreate the look and I kind of want to make this like fruit bra thing it's kind of I don't know it's it's tacky in like a fabulous way so I thought I would recreate the bra and make it in a full busted size because I believe that this like over the top extra glamour should be for all shapes and sizes. So if you want to see the whole Kelly Kapowski look, uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. Um, but if you want to see how I made this <laughs> like crazy over the top extra uh, Kelly Kapowski inspired fruit sequin applique full busted bra, then just keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so for starters, this is the look I'm trying to emulate, and I could not get a really good close-up of this bra. Um, this is, like, kind of as close as I can get. Uh, I actually think this is probably, like, a three-dimensional cherry in the middle, but I didn't find that anywhere. And then the rest is, like, obviously, like, different fruits. I think these fruits are actually smaller than the ones that I have, but I wanted to show you that this was my inspiration, and I'm going to try to recreate this whole look right here because I actually have red cowboy boots. I'm trying to find a pair of jeans and I found a red blazer. So anyway, we'll do that at the end. Uh, I don't have those abs. <laughs> Would like those abs. Don't have them. But uh, this is kind of the look I'm trying to emulate. I could not find this without the jacket on. So I don't really know what the whole bra looks like, but you know, we're going to we're gonna go for it. We're gonna try to figure out how to make this happen. So for starters, you're gonna need a black bra in your size, probably preferably some kind of a t-shirt bra, something really simple. Um, I just pinned this cherry on here because I tried this bra on and tried to figure out where I wanted the cherry in the center, and I pinned it on before I took it off. So this is actually just a plain black bra, it does not have this in the center, I just have this here so I could tell when the bra was on where I wanted the cherry to sit. So that's why it's there. But this is just a plain black bra and these are sequined fruit decals that I found on Amazon. Of course, some glue and yeah, this is basically simple. I say it's simple, but I actually did do a DIY, which I never actually edited and uploaded because it came out so bad, uh, where I used like sequin appliques on a bra and it did not work well. So I'm a little nervous about this, so we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so I'm gonna try to start with the part that I think is gonna be the easiest, I hope, uh, and that is the cherry in the center because it's a flat piece. The cups are rounded, so I think that's gonna be a little bit more complicated. Actually, I only want the glue on the part that's gonna stick to the bra, and that didn't work. <laughs> I got that too low, so I'm already not starting out well. Okay, yep, already making a mess. Okay, I'm gonna take the pin out now that I kinda know where I want the cherry, although that made way more of a mess than I wanted it to. Mm. Okay, hopefully when the glue dries, you won't see it as much. 
Okay, for this part, I'm going to try to put the glue on uh, with a Q-tip to try to get it a little less messy. And I'm just going to try to clean up this part around here. All right, and I have a cherry in the center. Okay, now I'm going to try to do a banana. Now the thing is is that some of this fruit, like the banana here, it only goes this way so I can't do it exactly the same on both sides. So yeah, it's not gonna be like matching on each cup, but we're gonna, we're gonna do my best. This time I'm gonna try to put the glue directly on the back here. And I'm only gonna go heavy, so I'm trying not to go too close to the edges because I don't want it to spill over, but I do need there to be a lot of glue in order to hold it down because you know th with this one it's a little bit longer no pun intended but I definitely want because again I'm working with a a cup shape here I want this to stay stuck and in general, it's going to tend to peel up. Again, no pun intended <laughs> with the banana. See, if I just let it sit like this. Oops, some glue sticking out here. If I just let it sit like this, see this this side tends to pop out because again, I'm working, I'm working with a curved surface. So this is actually a lot harder than it looks. Bought a couple packages of these because I didn't know how many I would need. So yeah, I think I'm gonna cover the whole bra. I may regret this, but I think I'm going to. Um, I skipped the apple and I skipped this kind of sad looking cherry just cause I don't know, I did. <laughs> kind of did this side put a few more on this side the key is I'm hoping the glue will just when it dries it'll just hold these in place and then I'm gonna try to tack them down with some needle and thread is my hope key is to try to get them to not shift while I'm waiting for the glue to dry I think this will be cute. So I will check back in with you when these are a little bit more dry and I will try to stitch this together. Okay, so I let this dry a couple days because, oh, I didn't have any lighting yesterday. Um, and these actually seem to be staying in place really well, but obviously, uh, you know, the edges are popping up because obviously this is a curved surface. And I thought about tacking these down, sewing them on. Um, but I'm gonna try another technique first and just see if this works. So I put a uh, pointed tip, I actually bought this on Amazon, uh, to put on top of the E6000 glue so that it could come out in more of a fine point. And like this is not tacked down here, so what I'm gonna try to do is put some glue on here and then put this down in place where I want it. And then I'm gonna try pinning this in place. And hopefully this will hold it down enough so that I can let it dry like that and the glue will stick. Not positive is gonna work, but I figure what the heck, I got nothing to lose. So basically anywhere where I feel like the applique didn't stick as well as I'd like it to, I'm gonna go in with some glue and see if I can pin it down.
Okay, so I've pinned down this side and I'm gonna do the other side probably off camera because it's gonna get really boring for you because I'm just gonna do the same thing all over again. Um, but as you can see, I just stuck the pin in basically to hold it down anywhere where I thought that it was gonna pop up just to hold the glue down so that hopefully it'll stay. I'm hoping this will work. This is an experiment, so we'll see. Um, obviously, you can see on the back, this looks like a torture device, so do not try this on. <laughs> while you're waiting for this to dry just in case anybody's wondering because this could this could do some serious damage so yeah i'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then i'm going to let this dry and then i will check back in probably tomorrow and uh, try taking the pins out and see if this fixed the problem okay so i let this dry overnight and uh if you look at the back <laughs> it is literally a booby trap people do not try this on at this stage uh, but I'm actually going to take the pins out, and I actually think, I took a couple out already to check, and I actually think that this did a pretty good job of holding down. Some of them come out a little harder than others, probably because there's glue on them, but yeah, I think that did a really good job of, like, holding these down. I mean, obviously, they're not going to lie perfectly smooth, but yeah, I'm actually going to take these pins out, and then I'm going to try this puppy on when I'm sure that all the pins are out. Okay, I'm double checking to make sure there's no pins because I do not want to try this on when there are still pins in it. And I think I got them all. Another thing that I did was I added a couple uh, Swarovski crystals that I had left over from some of my other DIY projects. Uh, just here and like here and over here. I'm not in love with putting the Swarovski crystals on them. I wanted to keep this one kind of more just appliques, but there were a couple spots where the glue just looked really messy and clumpy because I kind of messed up and I needed something to cover it up. and. Hey, if you have a mess, cover it up in crystals. That's the way to go. Um, I actually did some research, and the glue actually does come in black, which might have worked better as far as the actual uh, bra goes, but I feel like if I'd used that and I'd gotten any on the appliques, it would have looked messy. So kind of a toss-up. Um, I think in the future I would just be more careful with the glue, personally. Um, but this is my first time doing something like this, so I kind of gave myself a little bit of margin for error. You could also put some crystals in some of these other empty places if you wanted to. Um, I just I just did it in places where I felt like I had to because the glue kind of looked messy. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think this actually came out pretty cute. Uh, I think this lays a lot smoother now than it did before, so I'm going to try this puppy on and I will be right back. Okay, and here is the finished look. I'm actually really loving how this came out. Now, I do not have uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen's abs, so I don't know how many people actually had her abs, but um, I definitely have never, so. I actually I actually bought these jeans, they're Express. They're not like the ones in the picture, but I, I literally had to buy jeans for this look because I have like no jeans that fit me right now. I don't know if I'm in love with how these fit, but this was the closest I could find to jeans that actually fit me, so. If you wanna see a video of me trying to find jeans, Definitely let me know, but yeah, jeans and me, we're having issues right now. Um, but these are Express. They're pretty comfortable. Um, I kind of wish they, I don't know, were a little bit more flattery on the top. But anyway, these boots are actually uh, <laughs> classic Jessica Simpson. If you guys have not read her book, uh, these are like her originals from like when she first came out with her line. And I've saved these all these years. I've only worn them a couple times. Um, I live in New England, so I don't really have a lot of use for <laughs> red cowboy boots, but um, if you've read Jessica Simpson's new book, you know how significant these boots are, and I'm actually really glad I saved them. I might wear these more often, but yeah, they worked perfectly for this look, and uh, I got this red blazer on Amazon, which I'm surprised because it's really inexpensive and it fits really well. Don't know how well it'll hold up, and here is the, <laughs> the fruit encrusted bra. I actually think this came out really cute. Add a red lip, Kylie Cosmetics, Boss, because I'm a boss. Uh, some gold hoops from Bobble Bar. Wore my hair straight, which is very 90s. If you hold on a second, let me show you without the jacket. I actually think this came out really cute. You could totally wear this as like a top with, you know, I, I mean, I suppose depending on where you're going, you could wear this, you know, on its own, I suppose. Um, it, yeah, it's just like, it's a fun applique. I feel like these kind of like bra top things are really popular now and you know us fuller busted girls don't tend to um it, it's hard to find them in ones that like actually are supportive and you know hold you in and don't <laughs> don't don't leave you hanging 
<laughs> like literally leave you hanging. So I just thought it was fun to like just take a bra. The original bra is fig leaves because uh, it, it's just a really great place for me to actually get um, bras in my size because they have a really wide size range. Um, but you know, plain black bra in any size that fits you. The appliques were not that expensive. If you, um, you could always skip the Swarovski crystals. I would have had I not screwed up some of the glue and had it look weird. Or you could add more crystals if you want to. That's totally up to you, but yeah. I'm loving how this came out. So yeah, that was me transforming myself into Kelly Kapowski and living out my dream. So if you guys have any other, uh, you know, DIY suggestions, not just bra DIYs, but I have been having a lot of fun decorating these like fuller busted bras and stuff. I just, I don't know, they're fun. It's kind of ridiculous, but it's fun, so why the heck not, right? Um, so if you have any other suggestions for these or any other DIYs that you want to see me attempt, then, uh, or other you know, I don't know, characters or themes or something you want to see me try to turn myself into, then why not? I'd love to hear from you. I love your suggestions. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I know that these kind of DIYs are kind of just like, I mean, they're extra and they're over the top and, you know, you can do them or you cannot do them, but I hope that this inspires you because, I mean, I grew up feeling so bad about myself and seeing like characters on TV who were thin and perfect and you know popular and like your Kelly Kapowski's of the world and just feeling like I wasn't good enough and I I just grew up hating myself and the fact that now here I am at 40 years old I'm so YouTube old but um yeah but here I am and I'm just like you know what to heck with it if I want to dress up like Kelly Kapowski in the 90s why the heck not? There's no reason not to. You should live your dreams and live your best life. And I hope that this video inspired you to do that. If it, if it does nothing else for you, I hope it inspires you to, you know, live your dreams and believe that anything is possible because I'm 40 years old and I'm like modeling bras on YouTube and Instagram. And <laughs> if I can make that happen, then there is nothing that you can't do. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate every single person who watches my video, who likes, comments, subscribes, who follows me on Instagram, everyone who follows along with my journey. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You mean more to me than I could ever express. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.